Hey guys, happy Monday again. So if you're watching this first, then happy Monday. If you're watching this uh, after you did the reading, happy Monday again. So still during the Super Bowl for me, haha. -ha. So let's talk real quick about our spelling words this week. We have, uh, so we, we have called them fourth grade sight words. So sight words are words you see a lot. Um, these are words that are going to be in a lot of things we read and a lot of things you're going to read. These are grade level words, okay? So let's go over them together. Say this after me, please. Astound. Affect. Not effect. Affect. Affect. Forbid. Hibernate. Dismay. Scorch. Tower. Observe, master, resist, seize. Look at that vowel pair right there. The E I makes the E sound. So seize, limb. Look at that. Look at that silent B right there. Limb. Okay. Embrace. M M M. Brace. Pay attention to that. Embrace, surround, modest. Okay, guys, have fun practicing these. Practice every day, okay? Every single day, you should make below 100. Every day, all right? Okay, let's go on to our writing. So we are talking about opinions, right? So let us look. Uh, we're going to start a little opinion essay. Now, we are going to use the one and only Ivan as some material for this essay, because uh, the one and only Ivan has a lot. Of... If you have been reading, which hopefully most of you have been, it has a lot of themes and a big message to, to send to people, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's get into it. You develop an opinion or a point of view of your topic based on experiences and information you have. Your experiences and information can give you strong reasons for your opinion, right? So remember, your opinion is also your point of view on a topic, okay? And it's based or you have this opinion, you formed this opinion because of experiences, things you've done or seen and information you have, right? So, and your experiences and information can give strong reasons. So remember, an opinion essay, you have the topic you're talking about. Then you have your opinion or point of view. Then you have your reasons, right? Then you have your information that supports those reasons. So for every reason, you should at least have two two to three pieces of information. Um, and that'll also help make a, make a good paragraph too. So let's look at the my turn. So you are going to develop a topic and an opinion as you draw, dra as you draft an opinion essay. You will need to choose a topic from the list below. Fill in the boxes below after you have chosen your topic. And guys, I'm going to tell you, highlight the topic you picked, because otherwise you're going to forget what you did. <laughs> okay, so if we were to choose the first one, first topic, you'd highlight it. And then uh, you're going to come down here. You're going to write the topic. So if the topic, well, let's look at them first, and then I'll kind of show you what we're going to do, okay? So let's look at the first topic. And these are these are a little more complex than just like animals. Okay, so let's get into it. What is the major theme of the one and only Ivan? That's your topic. <clears throat> the theme of the major theme of the one and only Ivan. So you're going to give two examples to support it. The ma the major theme of this book is animal cruelty. A first example is the fact that these animals are expected to perform tricks for mall visitors each day. A second example is that Ruby is trained using a claw stick. Okay, so see right there? Uh, Miss Leach made this for us, and she gave us uh, kind of like some examples of things that were uh, 
like you have a reason, right? And then uh, she's kind of showing the information. So let's look at the second one. Opinion about taking animals out of the wild and putting them on display to make money. So that would be the topic, taking animals out of the wild uh, and putting them on display to make money. What is your opinion on that, right? So you need to have an opinion. What is your opinion? Reasons and supporting evidence. So if you choose this one, right there. Tells you exactly what you need, right? So opinion with the moral of the one and only Ivan. Humans should treat animals with compassion and respect. So that's the opinion right there. And the topic would be uh, how to treat animals. Okay. So remember, a topic's kind of like the over overarching thing. It's it's what your what your opinions about, but it does not describe your opinion. Okay. Your opinion is a little different. Your opinion is saying something about the topic. So right here, we have spaces for you. So put your opinion. Then remember, you're going to need at least two reasons. And then you need information and experience, experiences for each one of the for each one of your reasons, right? So for one reason, you at least need. I'm going to tell you, you're going to need about three pieces of information to help support it, right? So you should be able to get two paragraphs out of this pretty, pretty easy. Uh, just uh, if you need a refresher. Go back and watch one of the videos yesterday, uh, last week when I talked about opinion uh, and we had our opinion example on Monday of last week. Or you can join the Zoom, 8.30 to 9.30 tomorrow, okay? Or today, 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 because today is Monday. So, all right, guys, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, if you're totally confused, join the Zoom. I'm here for you. I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Oh, uh, guys, please make sure you're doing your work. If you've made it this far, I'm going to know you watched the video and actually did what you were supposed to. Please put a private comment. Um, do we want a fun word today? Okay. Uh, pineapple. If you don't know how to spell it, you can just put apple. But I want you to put either apple or pineapple as a private comment, and I will know you watched the video. If not... Those of you who didn't make it this far, I feel sorry for you. And I will be talking to you soon. Bye. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, be safe, be warm. High five.